Hello and welcome back. So it's our first mission. Let's see what we can do. Oh, 600. Yeah, yes. Yes. I have to put minimum. Oh, it looks a little bit better. The first wipe. This is cool. But don't tell me the check is here. Wait. Is the sound off now? find it hmm. anyone better to watch the goods oh they just didn't bother or are we missing something what do you think Corey think we're missing something huh is there some kind of special meaning to the fact that we've got drunk dirty grandpa here sitting in the shack watching the goods maybe we need to crack the code here huh well, any ideas where they hid the powder? How about you look around while I... <laughs> while I interrogate the suspect, eh? <laughs> you. What's your name, old man? <laughs> Boy. What did you say, old man? You need to answer nice and clear when a police... Officer speaks to you. My name is uh, Nash. Uh, Warren Nash. I'll I, uh... tell you something, Warren Nash. Fifteen years on the force. I've seen all sorts of dirty shits. This town isn't exactly upscale, in case you haven't noticed. I've caught thieves, caught rapists, murderers, and drug traffickers. All part of the job, you know? I'm doing my job. Nice and easy. Like a professional. But here you are. This... This filth. You're... You don't make it easy to be easy. Filth like you drives me up the wall. With scum like you, I can't... I... I just can't keep up the cold-blooded professional attitude. I just can't! You know why, Warren? Because... Oh, I'm sorry, Warren. I'll be just a second, all right? <laughs> Shit! Charlie! What the hell? Do you want Corey, to... just look for the fucking drugs while I'm busy with the fucking suspect, okay? So, Warren, filthy things like you, you drive me nuts. Because you think that we'll never catch up with you. You think the police can't do anything? You think we just rescue cats from trees and help old old ladies carry their bags up to the porch? You, you think, you believe, you really, really believe that we'll never get to you, so you don't even have to try. You taking good care of the goods here, Warren? You ready for us here, Warren? Just waiting in ambush, Warren? You did fucking nothing, Warren! Fucking nothing! Because you thought we'd never come. But here I am, Warren. Here I am! What are you gonna do now, Warren? What's the big plan, Warren? Hey, I think I found something. You hear that, Warren? He found something. Next time, hide it better. Oh, nice cops. Well, 
This looks like 27 keys of heroin to you? I... I would say there's somewhere between 26 and 28 keys. Well, well, th- well, that sounds like 27, right? Yep. Yep, looks like 27. So what are we thinking here? You load it up in the car and I'll pack up the old man. And any of this other junk we might need. I'd like, uh, I need, I, I really need to talk to the sheriff as soon as possible. I'm Sheriff Reed. You can talk all you like, but if I were you, I'd wait for my lawyer, Mr. Nash. I don't, uh, you, you said you're the sheriff? That's what I said. I, uh, no, no, I'm just, I, are you Sharpwood, Sheriff? I'm the sheriff. You, uh, you could... Do you have the authority to- Look, I'm wearing a shiny star on my chest, I'm sitting here in the middle of the night, and even though I'm exhausted, I'm poring over murder files that no one else wants to bother with. So yeah, I'm the sheriff. I may not be used to all this, and I'm not sure I ever will be, but I don't have another sheriff for you, Mr. Nash. You might as well accept it. Listen, Sheriff, uh, Sheriff Reed, right? Great, Sheriff Reed. Uh, I, I need to talk to the sheriff, and, and you're the sheriff, so... It's even better. I I mean, older sheriffs sometimes... Well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not not talking about that. I uh, I just want to say that there's been a mistake. And I want to help you out here because I... uh, Because... There uh, was a huge batch of cocaine hiding in your house. You want me to believe you didn't know anything about it? I rent that house. Only lived there a couple of weeks. And you... You know all that, right? It's easy to check, huh? Yeah, it's... Uh, uh, but but that's not important. It's it's not that I... Uh, I I'm trying... Listen, Sheriff Reed, you, you have to listen to me very carefully. I'm a policeman, just like you, you know? Oh, so you must be undercover. Is that it, Mr. Nash? No, 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 that's... It's much more complicated than that. My name isn't Warren Nash. I, yeah, I already knew that. Your fake documents are so bad they practically fell apart in my hands. If you... if you let me explain, I... Would you like to see my real document, Sheriff? Look, that humidor, you see it? What? That little box, the the little wooden box on the table, see? Looks like a jewelry box? It's locked. We'll crack it open in the morning. Wouldn't you rather open it now? Please, Sheriff Reed, let's open it now and, and I'll try to explain everything. I'm in a very difficult situation, and I'm asking you to listen to me. Just open the box, and you'll find my passport in there. My real passport. My name's Jack Boyd. The documents that say I'm Warren Nash, I bought them for 90 bucks at the rail station. Please, just open the box, and I'll explain everything, please. You say you were a cop, huh? Yes. 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 I... I was a cop. I I was the chief of police, just like you. Look, it's a very long and complicated story, but I I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. And and the fact that I've gone into hiding here, the fact that I'm here at all, it's it's an injustice that I want to correct. And I'm asking you to help me. Sheriff! Sheriff Reed, let's talk! I'm begging you!
Sheriff Reed, let Do me- Do you even know what you've been accused of, Mr. Mr. Boyd? I, let, let's just say I, I don't know if you know what happened in Freeburg last winter, but it had nothing to do with the law or justice. I was used, you and I- You do understand that I have to report you to the feds, right, Mr. Boyd? Sheriff Reed, if you do this, you, you just continue this, I think. I believe that cops should help each other, so I just want to say you seem like the kind of person We've who... known each other for five minutes, Mr. Boyd. I doubt very much that I've made any impression on you at all. Whatever you've got yourself mixed up in, I hope that... I hope that you find justice, if that's really what you want. But for now... But while I... For now, all I know is this. You're a criminal, and they're looking for you. Your... your folder. Your folder. That's a case file. Can, can I see it? Excuse me? I worked as a detective for years. Even when I was chief, I did half of my detective's work. If you... if you're having trouble with the case, I'm sure I can help. Cops should help each other. My exact words, right? You think... you... you think that I... Listen, Sheriff Reed, what do you have to lose? You're the head of this police department. You've got to think rationally. I'm not trying to teach you how to do your work. I'm just... well, just for a minute. Forget about all that... the other. This whole awkward situation, okay? Right? You have an unsolved murder, and there's someone standing right in front of you who's offering to help. Maybe I'm an imposter, and I can't actually do anything. Maybe I'll even turn out to be a lunatic, scatter the file around the cell, and dance around like a wild monkey. But maybe, just maybe... I really am an experienced cop who can help you find your killer. Don't you want that? Don't you want to give me a chance since you've got nothing to lose? Don't you want a real criminal in prison, not some sorry victim of circumstance like me? That's police work. Catching the real criminals, right? I guess I'm going crazy. Okay, let's see. Uh... Uh, I should. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. What? Huh. Mm. On display. Okay. Tools. Let's see. Uh -huh. Okay, do we have any put? No. Okay, that's cool. Two, three, four, five. Okay, one is extra. Mm. Okay. Uh <laughs> this this 
Okay, that's just stupid. Uh... Victor. Okay. Yes. Look. Lily here. Come in. Can you grab the box of flashbang grenades and get over here? There's no time to lose. Lily. Copy. I'm on my way. Yes, just let me look at the plan. <sighs> Lily, we've got everything covered. Gail, I need to take a look at the plan. Gail, the plan? Lily, do you want to look at the plan or do you want to change the plan? I need to see the plan before I decide whether I need to change it. Gail? <sighs> Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, proceed. Hmm. Uh, Uh. Oh, okay, like that. Oh, okay, okay, I was thinking only. Um, what with the uh, strike team? Uh. I don't understand what's that. Please. How can I out? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, I don't understand what the... Hmm. 
Okay. Red. Hmm. Oh, but. Um, hmm. Did I miss something? I didn't say anything. Wait. Can't put any anybody there? Huh. You should have taken him to Canaan right away. Yes, let's get him over here. Someone needs to go get Canaan. Does anyone know Canaan lives? Jesse, grab that blue bag over there. Bring it over here. I'll call him. Bring me that bag. I'll call Canaan. The bag, Jesse. Jesus, Jesse, we don't have time for that. Bring me that bag. No, 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 no come on. Lily, put pressure here. Press there and don't you think let him make it. You think he'll make it? We need to put something under his head. He's dead, Lily. Lily, he's dead. Gail's dead. Now you can call Canaan. What was his name? I mean, I mean the deceased officer. What's his name? Gail Greenberg. Were you close? No, but... No. We... we went to school together. Sheriff Reed, I... Sheriff Reed. Ha! Sheriff Reed. If my dad could hear you say that, he'd died of laughter. He'd laugh like a madman, choke on his favorite meatballs even. Sheriff Reed. Call me Lily. My aunt lived in Freeburg. She, she sold flowers. Had her own store, a little shop. My mother and I used to visit during the summer. You have warm summers there. Warmer than here. <laughs> Anywhere's warmer than here. So, what happened in Freeburg, Mr. Boyd? It's, that's a very, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, F forgive me, Lily. I, I begged you for a chance to tell you everything, and now I don't know where to start. You were slandered? You could say that. So you aren't guilty of anything. I, uh... I'm plenty guilty, but but not what I've been accused of. I was just a fool. A blind fool. You're right, Mr. Boyd. Uh, I'm sorry? The sheriff's job is to think rationally. I figured I might be a shit cop, but at least I can think rationally. Now I'm... Now I'm... Not so sure. Lily, listen to me. You aren't guilty of anything. I've been a police chief going on 13 years, and I can't say that I never... I, uh... Let's just say it's a difficult job. It gets complicated. 
And to put you in this position, it was, uh, I just want to say don't that... Don't be shy, Mr. Boyd. I don't make much of a sheriff. Is that what you wanted to say? Because I completely agree with you. Lily, listen to me. I'm a policeman. Whatever position I'm in now, whatever this is, whatever my official status, I'm still a policeman. I'm a policeman and I know how to do this job. And I will help you. Cops should help each other. Isn't that what we were talking about earlier? Don't you agree with me? What was it you said, Mr. Boyd? Maybe you're an imposter, maybe you're crazy, but... But maybe... Maybe you... I... Honestly, I don't even know if I... Really? Why are you pointing that gun at me? Can I get out of this cage? Lily? Yes, Mr. Boyd. Yes, you can get out of the cage. You, uh, you want me to... Well, I, I guess I'm asking. You want me to get to work? What is it you want me to do exactly? You can get some sleep in the break room. It's over there to the left, the dark green door. I'll still be here in the morning, and in the morning we... In the morning we... Well, we'll figure this out. Tomorrow you can gather up your things, Mr. Boyd. Yes, I just, uh, uh, this letter, I, I'd like to send it as soon as possible. This, uh, it's for my children. It's important. I can mail it for you. I, I don't mind. I've got a letter to mail myself. Lily, uh, I wanted what? to... What? You want to know if I'm going to call the feds? No, I won't call the feds. Do I realize that means I'm breaking the law? Yeah, I know. Do I understand that you could make a run for it at any time? Yeah, I know that too. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, checkpoint. Any other questions? So how long you been working undercover? Since February. So you're like, you're like our new sheriff now, huh? Mr. Nash will partly take over management of the department. Some of you will now be his subordinates. Bad news, Cliff. I'm still the sheriff. Well, if you understand everything and there's no more questions, then let's... Uh, oh, oh, wait, I have a question. Uh, when are we going to take that thing down? I meant questions for Mr. Nash. Oh, then I have a question for Mr. Nash. Mr. Nash, when are we going to take that thing down? <laughs> when are we taking that thing down? We're not taking it down. Sorry, bud. Looks like it's staying up. That's enough. Everybody back to work. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was Sheriff Wells who hung that tapestry here. He said that... He said he made me his first deputy because I was the only one who understood what it says. Well, now there's two of us. Okay. What? Drinking again? What? Uh...
Ok. Mm. Oh, somebody don't have eye. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that's alcohol. Yes, looks like. Yeah, it's useless. Curse pepper spray and stain the visit after. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Best ones are getting this one. Okay. Pepper spray. Poker, No, he doesn't get anything. Why? Oh, okay. Ah, that's good. I have them. I have them. Why not? Uh, what's our response? Okay, I need to answer. No, I don't waste any more hundred. Mm. That's so I have to put so close. Fine, let's put two forty and ninety five. Yes. Take it some no message no call. No nothing. Oh, this is very cheap map. Last one was better. Mm. Okay. Oh. Okay. And have tasers. Okay. Good to know. Oh, okay. I don't have any Nikosh. Oh, okay. That was, that was okay. Okay. Right. Ah, uh, I need to put everything one, everybody, please. 
Yes. Ooh, next to me. Okay. Ninety-five. Oh, hear me. Lasers and everything. Good. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yes, I have. Oh, wait, I have to do this. Oh, okay. That's good. Good. No. Oh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What we have? Here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. What's this one? Wait. Yes, do it. I don't, I don't know if it's five. No. Ten o'clock, maybe? Oh, that's a far away. Okay. What? Oh, this is good. Oh. Oh, strengths. Okay, she has speed. Okay. Ah, shoot. Let's have information. Oh, okay. How many? Ten. Minus three. Okay. Seven. So what you can have? Lasers. Okay. Laser. Uh, looks like detective. Hey, anything. Ah. No, it's okay. Next. I save. I'm saving. Who's fit to work? Okay. This one is useless. Idiot. Oh, how about this one? I work every day. Fine, but then this like this. Fine, you don't want. You're an alcoholic. I don't want you. Yeah, like this. And I think I will gonna finish here and see you next time. I uh. Did I miss something? No, no. I just want to move into the office where you were working yesterday. So you, uh, you're moving into a smaller office? I'm moving where I'm more comfortable. That's the office I used to share with Gail. It's... Yeah, it's probably too big for me, but it'll be just right for you. Um, uh, can I help? No, no. I, I don't like people pawing my stuff. You could get a bite to eat. I'll be finished in, like, 20 minutes. I can handle this. At least I can handle this. Okay, then I, uh, I'll go down to the dining hall then. Call me if you need me.
Ah, Mr. Nash. Glad we have a chance to get acquainted again. This time under better circumstances, huh? <laughs> Our first meeting didn't go so smooth. <laughs> you really must forgive me, Mr. Nash, for being so rude to you. It was rude of me to arrest you. <laughs> you gotta admit, you don't really look like an undercover cop. Am I right, guys? <laughs> but I didn't hit you too hard. I tried to be... I tried to be delicate with elderly gentlemen. I'm not some kind of monster. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend anyone. You really shouldn't be offended. We're all grown-ups here. Why be offended? Why are you offended, Mr. Nash? I gotta say, I expect more from a senior police officer. Well, I don't know. More... more professionalism, you know? You seem like the kind of guy who sits behind a desk doing paperwork. Am I right, Mr. Nash? That the bathroom? Weren't you gonna drink your coffee, Mr. Nash? You're not incontinent, are you? Mr. Nash, do you have a problem? Is it an age thing, or did I just hit you too hard in the kidneys? If that's the problem, then I apologize, Mr. Nash. I tried. I tried not to hit any vital organs. Mm -hmm. Why does my people understand? Okay, see you next time. Hold me close till I get up. Time is better.